guys, um, I was reviewing the egglets. My video turned off, but I'm still in the process of making them. I have uh, two minutes left on this timer. So, I don't want to focus, but two minutes left on the timer. And they're rolling. My little mini egglets. I had a problem. You can see white stuff in there. The egglets turned over, and there's a little hole in the cap of them. And I think that's how the egg stuff escape out. So that's one con about it that I don't like when they turn over when the pot is boiling. Which, you know, they can often turn over because boiled eggs turn over in the pot. So when they're in these, of course, it can also possibly turn over. So when it turned over, eggs came dripping out the little tiny hole. Oh, sorry, smoke got in my camera lens. And all the white stuff bubbling is practically eggs. So... I turned the heat down some and just let it boil on a low heat slowly so it wouldn't turn over. And of course my pot was too small so the other egg that I cracked open still over here waiting to be boiled. Um, so what I did is I put the egglet together. It comes in three pieces. You have to put it together, wash it, put it together, um, spray it. I sprayed it with this Pam cooking spray right here. I sprayed about five times to make sure it was nice and oily because if you don't use spray, um, the inside of your silicone will be totally ruined. you have to scrape the egg out because it won't come out in one. But if you spray it, all you have to do is turn it over, pop it open, and pop it out. And it comes out like a regular egg. The only thing is it does not come out. Oh, it's ready. The only thing that is that it does not come out. Um... In the regular shape of an egg because it comes out with a flat top as you can see because the line at the top where the egg yolk kind of stops at. So it doesn't come out shaped like an egg at the top or bottom whichever way you flip it but it's still an egg. All you're going to do is chop it up anyway if you're putting it in salad like we are doing. We're having fish and salad tonight so I got my fish laid out and seasonings and stuff over there. Um, this is done boiling, so I'm going to turn the pot. No, I'm going to leave the pot on. I'm just going to take them out because I have one more egg to boil. However, I am going to run some cold water. And I put some ice in the bowl already. Um, this is ice. Put some cold water in there. So my egg can cool down. And because I use grease, they're going to pop out. When I pop them out of there, it's going to be a little, well, maybe a lot of greasy with them. This is my third time using them. First time was terrible because I used them with no grease, so the eggs came out terrible. And it does not even tell you to use grease, so that's a mistake on their part. I think, well, from the instructions I got, it does not say use grease. Um, that does cool off some. Second time I used them, I used lots of grease. They came out great. They were just very oily when I popped them out. And this time, I'm taking them out. Good. Ooh, that's hot. That's steaming. And this time, I am not using... I did use grease, excuse me. I used lots of grease again. So, I'm just going to take the egglets out and put them in this cold bowl of water to let them cool off. Oh, this is hot. <gasps> Woo! Burn my fingers. Shoot, that heat is hot. And I'm just going to put this one in there so that one can cook. Um, might need some more water. I'm going to put some more water in there. I don't want it to tip over like these did, even though it's already egg stuff all in the water still. And I'm 
just gonna let these kind of cool off. I'm gonna let those cool off for a few minutes. Like I said, they will be oily when I take them out, probably when I uncap them. So because I used a lot of grease. I'm going to go ahead and open one up because I don't want the video to miss and cut off again. And I know it's going to be hot. So, I might do that and hurt myself. But I'm just doing this for y'all so I can upload this video. I don't know which one I put in first. Oh, well. oh. what is going on with these egglets? Okay, y'all. This review sucks because, look at this. It's all... It's not even the right shape. Oh. And now my husband's calling. So I'm going to open it up. Hello. Hey, baby. What are you up to? You all? Huh? Oh. I was calling you to see if I could use the money out of the account to um, pay the fifty dollars for the reunion. The fifty deposit, the fifty dollar deposit is due, but we gotta use cash app. I, I honestly, I don't even know how to send it if I were to use it. Lr, the class reunion that I keep asking if you're going to, and that's another thing, the re class reunion. You know, with all the laughs and jokes about the bowling and stuff. Um, next year, I think in July or June. Somewhere between March and July. If we going. You don't want to? You told me you'd think about it. You told me you'd think about it. You can come. They have a day where spouses and stuff come, you know? People's wives and husbands come. It's not the whole thing, but at least that one part. But uh, yeah, I'm just asking to see if we can, I can use the cash app to pay. I don't know if I'll be able to. If not, I might need to meet a guy that lives out here if he agrees to it. And so I might need you to meet somebody and pay them out here if, if he agrees to meet. I'll talk to you about it when they get home. Classmates. One of the guys that I went to school with stays out here. Not like any. So yeah, the egg should be cool enough by now. Sorry y'all, that was my husband. So yeah, this one came out pretty normal. Um, but this one, 
I don't know what's going on. Maybe this is the one, one of the ones that turned over really bad. So, just going to twist it open. And um, this is how it looks on the inside once I twist it open. That's all the grease on it. We'll just maybe I do too much, but I just do it so I don't ruin my egg. I can rinse and wipe the grease off. Turn it over, squeeze it a little, just barely a squeeze. And it's coming. Voila! There's my little eggy from my egglet. It's cool enough already. The only thing is, it looks really like yellow looking. But it's because the grease I put in it. I want to open this one that I that looks funny. Let's see why or if it a if it be a reason. Why it looks like that. See if it comes out the same shape. Oh, I think that boiled wrong. Look, y'all. <laughs> that one looks ugly. That's not grease. That looks like the in inside part of a regular egg. It just is on the top. But let's see if it comes out. Okay. Ew. <laughs> yeah. That is ugly. Okay, mixed reviews on these. I don't know how to feel about these, but wow, wow. I love them still. I don't know what was going on this time. Every oh my goodness, everything came out perfect last time I made them, which was the second try. But right now, I think just because I'm recording, that's why everything wants to mess up and be ugly. I'll take out this last one. And there we have it. Those are my eggs from my egglets. They came out um, different. But if I had to rate this product um, from like a 1 to 10, I would rate it, uh, with 10 being the best, I would say, what would I get this product? Uh, maybe a... Maybe an eight and a half, because the, the cons could play out different, but it saves time. I don't have to, I don't have to uh, crack my eggs anymore. I hate cracking eggs, and the way my husband eats boiled eggs is terrible, so, yeah, I don't like doing that. It's just time consuming, so I can just pop them in here and pop them out, and they're done. Right now, I'm just rinsing them, look better already. It's all that grease off. The texture feels like funny on the outside of them after they grease and after they're boiled. But, you know, that's nothing. I, that's not going to cause that much of a huge problem. And that's all, y'all. So, get you some egglets. They're pretty, they're pretty cool. They save you time. Um, I wouldn't say save money necessarily because you have to pay for them, but they save time. They come out pretty decent. They're just not shaped as a regular egg when they come out, but I haven't tried making omelets in them yet, but I heard that's pretty neat. So yeah, I would give this an 8.5 out of 10. Um, I love them. You cut them up, they're just like regular eggs and that's all. So, until next time, y'all, let me know if y'all want to review anything else, if y'all want me to review anything else. But like I said, these are the egglets. Next thing I'm going to review later is this apple cider vinegar from Simply Nature. So, tell me what you like, tell me what you don't, and anything you want to say, let me know. Like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me what you want me to review next, and talk to y'all later. Bye.